Hello everybody, Crips, uh, Crips here. So, um, for those people who have subscribed to my channel, or if you haven't and you've just been uh, following me, you're probably aware for the last three months I've been going uh, AFK away from keyboard. And I've got a good reason for that. Uh, when I'm not uh, at home doing these tutorials, um, I'm actually in front of the camera. I, uh, I do part-time acting here and there, and I've just finished uh, a movie by uh, Epic Productions or Epic Pictures uh, from Hollywood, and we just uh, finished a movie called Black Kingdom. That's it here, starring Dominic Purcell. Uh, if you don't know who he is, I don't blame you. No, <laughs> he's the he's the main character in Prison Break, the uh, brother that's already in jail, and he's also done Blade and uh, Killer Elite. And uh, anyway. Um, that's the movie I was making. It's a very simple movie. It's, uh, it's about uh, Vikings, and we uh, take on the god Thor. Yeah, it's just like uh, Robin Hood and his merry men. I'm just one of the merry men. That's uh, me here on the right, the uh, the uh, the hippie-looking fat guy. <laughs> so my wife calls me. Uh, yeah. Uh, so that's it. Uh, movie's finished. So. Back to uh, normality, which is uh, me doing nothing, I guess, uh, other than just making these tutorials. So, um, what am I doing today? Well, uh, I'm going to show you how you can create your own flash animation. Uh, because there's a few people, uh, I think, uh, all up now, I've got about nine or ten emails regarding the uh, flash animation and, you know, how they do it, how they use it, and what can we do with it, and whatnot. All right, uh, one of the questions that gets mostly asked, how do I edit the flash animation? Well, I'm sorry you can't because it is a video file. So it's like saying I just videoed my uh, cat falling on the, falling off the roof and it landed on his feet and it was really good, but I want to edit that now. You can't. You can add effects to it, like with your filters and transitions, but you cannot directly go into the uh, footage itself. So you will need to create your own. And these files are all what we call a, a SWF format. It's a flash animation. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'm talking about this here. So you get this really cool effects. So then when you drop it in your overlay track, like so, uh, and then press play, you get these little effects on your footage. So this can this can also be a movie. It doesn't have to be a still picture. Um, but the flash animation allows you to work with an alpha channel. And what does that mean? Well, if you look at all these uh, stills right now, like this one here, you can see the little bubbles here, but then you also get the white picture. If I import this into my timeline, because it's an alpha channel, the white background disappears. It basically gets chrome, chrome, chroma keyed out. And that's what the flash animation does. All right. But, uh, downside is you need to know how to use, uh, a flash animation software. Now I use Swishmax and the reason is because it's very user friendly, but unfortunately I'm not here to show you how to use Swishmax. All I want to do is just quickly throw something together for the sake of the, uh, the tutorial so that you can see just how easy it is uh, or how it is done to add your own Flash. Because I'm sure there's a few people out there go, oh, Flash movies, that's, I work with them all the time. So then uh, that'll be easy for you. So I'm just doing something really, really corny, I guess. Uh, yeah. Well, it's corny enough. Uh, yeah. Doesn't have to be perfect because, like I said, I'm just doing this for uh, a tutorial sake. And I'm going to add an effect into this. Uh, doesn't really matter what it is. Uh, perfect landing. Sounds bad. I'll use that. There you go. Looks bad. Now you can use uh, Adobe Flash. That's uh, pretty good as well. Sorry, there I lost my I lost my place in there. 
Now, what you do is, uh, if you are working with it, what you need to do is you export it as an SWF format. Because if you don't, I am going to hunt you down. No, uh, it just will not be able to be used in the, uh, the video library in uh, Motion Studio. That is why. Then we'll just call it Crypt. And then Safe. Now I'm going to go back into my video studio. Uh, I'm going to go to Graphics, Flash Animation, and Import Folder. And let's see, Crypt. There it is. Now it's added it to the video library. So if I take this away and move it over here, fit the screen, and there is Crips. Well, like I said, I can um, can do anything I want. I can um, make it uh, as corny as I want as well. Why? Because I can. Let's add uh, a cheesy effect to that one. Mm -hmm. Open cut. I have no idea what these do. I'm just, you know. Well, I must say that open curtain, curtain, uh, doesn't do much because I added it to the wrong timeline. Clever me, right? Right. Jump for joy. <laughs> Jump for joy. <laughs> and again, it does absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. Oh, I've changed it again. Never mind. Oh, I see what I've done. I've actually changed the jump for joy. Anyway, you get the picture. You can do anything you want in the flash animation. And then import it, like I said, as an uh, SWF file. And then you can create some really cool stuff. Now, for those who have asked me a few times, uh, could I make them a tutorial on how I do those intros for those people that I've made? Uh, well, I, I use Flash Animation. That's how I do it. Or I use Adobe After Effects, but uh, for those who know Adobe After Effects, it's not a simple program to use. And I will recommend Swish Max because I find it very, very easy to use. And as always, Thanks for watching.